Hello, my name is Joshua Vietz, and welcome fellow enthusiasts to my first public foray into but a few of the great Mediterranean wines of Spain and Italy. Together, you and I will dive into but a small portion of my extensive collection. But, nevertheless, prepare yourselves for a stimulating tour through the ranges of Galicia, the plains of Ebro, and finally the mild coasts and harsh rainy interiors of the great wine region of Tuscany, Italy. The first vintage I will be tasting today is a new addition to my collection. It is the Albelio Rose Alberino from Galicia in northwest Spain. A white wine produced from the Alberino grape, it is of course being served at the recommended temperature of 9 degrees centigrade. It is a bright white summertime wine and its dancing surface glimmers like light. It is almost like the gulls of Malta. It's about lemon, fresh rosy apple, a little hint of something salty on the nose. Dry. A lot of that lemon, pith and grapefruit acidity. Decent fruit and a nice bit of mouthfulness, a nice bit of weight. There's a medium woodiness to this vintage and one dreams of the freshly sawn oaken slats used for the construction of its housing. Finishing very crisp. It's about acidity and those fresh fruity flavours. One is summoned to the 1974 performance of Arthur St. Laurent's Coppelia. It really is a special wine, very rich, and I'm very fortunate to have crossed paths with it. Moving on. Let us now turn our attention to the 1917 Mascueres Novera Rosada. A fantastic wine and fantastic year. The Novera region neighbours Rahija and has carved out a highly praised reputation producing this delicious, fresh wine. Ugh. Red currant and cherry fruit, juicy and appetizing. Its hue, as dark as a rose can be, this spectacular wine is surprisingly light, with a distinctive sherbetty note. Just off with a dry touch and a touch of tannin. You are greeted with a full set of flavours that are very simple and not altogether pleasant, with a hint of chemicals. But then, of course, you get what you pay for. It's good if you're on a mission, and the distinctive flavour lingers a while longer before you are, once again, reaching for your glass to enjoy yet another taste. And now, to finish, I am very excited about this Classico Reserva Capingenta Chianti. An intensive shade of ruby red with garnet reflections. The bouquet is elegant, full, harmonious. And persistent. I 
suggestions of vanilla and raspberry. It smells like a little Carbignon Sauvignon, enhancing the Sauvignes in this black currant red. Mm. The palette is long and velvety, full bodied, generous, and warm. Cedar, thyme, iron, and singwin notes round out the palate as this cruises to a lingering aftertaste. Shows excellent structure and balance. Perfect with roasts and game. You get a lot of power and density in this warm climate, Tuscan red. In fact, it almost goes overboard. Maybe just for a moment. But ultimately regains and maintains its sense of balance. As notes of cured tobacco and smoke fill in the rear. It has quite clearly been crafted by seasoned hands. It has depth. It is one of the most prized purchases of my collection and I am glad to have shared it with you today. Thank you. <laughs> 